Welcome back everybody. This is Gun Tractor. One of these days we need to introduce who we are. But you can see in the back we have boxes galore. Those contain tractor parts or engine parts. As you can see from what's on the drill, woo, right there, we have a hone, a cylinder hone. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna run a hone through these these four cylinders. Um, they're actually pretty good, but we're gonna I'm gonna quickly just dry them all out, make sure they're good. I've got my hone all set up. I've got a little bit of lube on each on each one of the uh, stones. I'm just gonna quickly go in here and clean these out. You don't want to do too much. You just want to kind of, you just want to clean up what's there. You don't want to, you don't want to take off so much material that you damage the cylinders. You just want to polish them just a little bit. We're going to be putting in the sleeves here, hopefully later today. All we're doing is cleaning them out, getting any stuff that's glazed on, whatever it may be. Any rust. This block really didn't have a whole lot of rust in it. Right. Set that aside. I'm going to rag through it. Sorry about the lighting. The lighting's not the best. Now, from our last video, if you remember, we we're still waiting on valve guide seals. Hopefully, those will be here soon. You know what? That looks actually pretty good. Yeah, those look pretty good. They're like I said, they were pretty clean from the start. I think they're gonna be just fine. So hopefully the next frame will show us actually putting the sleeves in the engine. And like I said, we'll get back to the rest of those valves. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll probably combine this video with putting this the, the cylinder sleeves in. We're gonna insert our sleeves now. We've been putting, we've put them in the freezer for about a half hour so that they'll contract to be easier to put in. So we're gonna do that. We're uh, we're gonna put some oil on the outside of it and then just use this block and just pound them in, just carefully. Woo! They are cold. Lots of oil on there. We don't want too much oil. We want too much on there. Stop for a second. Let me look. I'm gonna make sure she's going in straight. She's going in straight. Let's do this. <clears throat> Hold the block. Why well, use a little hammer when you can use a big one? Feel like it's going still. Mm -hmm. Now we use a piece of wood. Pull it off. Put it back on. We use a piece of wood so we don't screw up the, the sleeve. Feel like it's still going? Huh? It's moving. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Smashing the block. Okay, I need <clears throat> hold the end there so it doesn't bounce. No, the block. Getting tired, that's all. Good thing we got more pieces of wood. Hold the block. We're holding the end of the engine. 
because it stands crappy. Thanks, Harbor Freight. All right. You hit it a little bit. And it likes to bounce. Make sure that's solid. You want your thing to hit solidly. Go. Okay, lift it. You gotta hit like this. Let go, let go. You're hitting like this. I'm exaggerating a little bit. You gotta hit square and straight. Come on, harder. Get tired? Pause, 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 pause. Yeah. Well, yes. block's starting to break. Hold that, like that. Austin, do your job. Don't get your fingers in the way. All right, so you pound this thing down until it actually seats in. I think we're moving the whole engine stand. Like I said, crappy harbor freight engine stand. So we're going to go ahead and shut it off. We're going to reinsert the rest, and then we'll get back with you. Okay, we've installed two sleeves. We're on the third one here, and everything's going good. It's beating the crap out of our wood, though. Um, usually we get about here and then it's hard to go down more. We thought, how can we get the sleeve in further? Uh, so we actually took our, I don't know if you can see this, we took our, this is, this thing's gnarly, but I machined it on my lathe. This we used as a puck to get the sleeves out. It actually works really good to put them in just that last little bit. We're not hitting that, we're not hitting very hard, but it's driving the sleeve right in. I hope you guys can hear that. You can tell right when it bottoms out. Pull this out and everything's perfect. Yeah, you want it to be flush with the top of the engine block. Yep, you want them to be flush with the top of the engine block and that's exactly what we are. Um, so we have one more sleeve. We're gonna pull that out of the freezer and we're gonna go ahead and drive that bad boy in. So we'll turn it on, the camera on here in just a moment. We're gonna shut you off. We're gonna bring you back once all the sleeves are in and then we'll go from there. Remember, still waiting for those other valve guide seals in the mail. We bought them from someplace for 10 bucks for eight of them. So hopefully those come soon. So we're gonna go ahead and shut off and then we'll uh, get back in just a second. It's literally two or three minutes later. We've got this next sleeve almost all the way in. We're gonna take our handy dandy tool right here. You're probably wondering why the block is on the ground. Well, we've got some studs in the bottom of the block. We had to elevate it, but it was on the stand, and every time we'd, we would hit it, pound it, the, the whole engine block would bounce. The stand, and was, so, the stand was walking away, too. So Yeah, the stand was all over. It's a piece of crap. Yeah. Yeah, it's Harbor Freight. What do you expect? So we, are, we, we took it off the stand. Here on the ground, you get better control over it, and we're able to put these sleeves in a little bit. I need one of you to come over here. Just make sure this thing doesn't walk. Now, is this the right way of doing things? I don't know. Working? Absolutely. I was raised on a farm and we did so many fixes of equipment improperly by professional standards, but by golly, they always worked. So, there we are. Cylinder sleeves are installed. Yep, it's looking good. It's coming right along. Hopefully we have this engine up and the whole tractor running in hopefully a few weeks. <laughs>